This is One on One with Jasper Cole, Hollywood's bad guy, and so much more. Actor, talent manager, producer, and more. Now he's sitting down with today's top newsmakers from entertainment, politics, pop culture, and beyond. This is One on One with Jasper Cole. All right, bitches. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And welcome to One on One with Jasper Cole. This is your host, Mr. Jasper Cole, and we are live at Temple Bay, uh, the, the Temple Bay Studios. I shouldn't have drank. And it's beautiful show. here. Isn't this great? It's like the best studio I've ever seen. This is a, stu- a recording studio where they actually scored Gone with the Wind back in the day. Wow. Yeah. We're right here Epic. in Hollywood off of Melrose. So everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, we are live on Instagram with my beautiful, beautiful, talented uh, guest today, the wonderful Melanie Martin. Yay! Official Melanie Martin on Instagram. <laughs> I'm at Jasper Cole says. <laughs> Please tune in on and you can also follow us on Twitter and you're at the same, right? Um just Melanie Martin. Melanie Martin, I'm Jasper yep. Cole says, and Melanie's on Facebook and your website Et Tinder. <laughs> Just what, swipe right. Yeah. <laughs> all, she's on all the apps. Um, but please join us. Also, if you go to jaspercole.com, there's a one on one with Jasper Cole uh, icon, and it has you has all the uh, archive shows and all that stuff. So, anyway, my dear, it's so great to see you. You know, we talk all the time and we text all the time. And it's not even, it used to be because I, I could say, I live in Palm Springs, I never see you, but you can live in LA and not see people, right? Oh, totally. It happens because all of the, the time. fucking traffic here. <clears throat> That and I feel like everybody lives in their little bubble. Right. So like if you're in Santa Monica, you never go to WeHo. If you're not in the... I mean, how many times do people say, I want to get together? And you're like, oh, really? Where do you live? And they're like, <laughs> Lancaster. And you think, well, besides Bye. no teeth. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Because <laughs> that's four-hour drive. It's not happening. To get crystal meth. That would be the only reason to drive there. <laughs> oh Shout out to Lancaster and all our fans. <laughs> I've shot like 10 <laughs> horror movies there. Um, anyway, speaking of shooting, Melanie has just worked on a wonderful new film. Can you? Can we talk about it? We can talk about it. I don't think I can say the name Don't of say it. the name. But, yeah. But congrats on the film. Thank you. It's been awesome. Tell everyone about the film and who you got to work with. Okay. Some of the people. Oh, gosh. This is a great cast. I'm going to hammer everybody's names I might here. can remember. Okay. Chaz Bono. Right. Um, Lindsay. Schreiner. <laughs> <Wagner. laughs> um <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> ja Rule. The ja Rule. Oh, my God. I could, it's an right. easy one to say. Um, he was awesome. And Michael, what was, yeah, that guy. Yeah, you know Michael. I'm Michael Nuri. Clearly, no. I'm not gifted at this part of the industry. <laughs> well, I, truth be told, I just sprung this on her. I didn't tell her I was going to ask her the names of the people. But anyway. But I have the cast list. It's in my phone. Yeah, so. no, it's a, it's a really mm-hmm. great, diverse group of people from it's all awesome. different parts of the industry and um it's a comedy billy morrison billy morrison. i remember that name so you had musicians playing themselves right? correct yeah. yeah so it's like a mockumentary of a documentary right super funny and these people all come in as a cameo of themselves which is really cool yeah and that'll come out probably next year yeah god yes. only knows <laughs> Well, you've been very busy. Also, you have a you've been working on a reality show that we cannot really divulge any details. But this has been a a year long plus yep. process, right? Yeah. Um, and people know you from Friends and Lovers on Bravo. Mm-hmm. You should. And, that's, is that <laughs> and if still, not, you should go is back that and watch still it. Still available anywhere? I don't know. Maybe don't, Netflix. I haven't tried to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a wonderful show she did on Bravo, um, and so she's been working on a new show that we can't talk about, but it's getting close, and it's yeah. made, made it through many development processes. And mm-hmm. um, shout out to Daza. We can yes, say my girl. Yeah. <laughs> It's why it's going to be. She's my boyfriend. <laughs> it's going to be a great. It's a great show. I, I know that. The It'll cast be really is funny. Mm-hmm. Some, not, there hasn't been anything like this not on reality TV. Yeah. No, it's yeah. in the same kind of vein as you know some of the successful ones that are out there. It's kind but... of a blend of many, several mm-hmm. of them together with a twist. Yeah. A right. Big- Big twist. Big twist. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also tell you've been working on a wonderful documentary. 
That um, I have. You are working on now. Yeah, it's called Cure This, and I was actually doing um, an Instagram live earlier today with Raymond Guzman, who's a celebrity psychic, yeah. and he's a really big promoter and believer of what I'm doing. So we we discussed it earlier. It's uh, a doc series about the cancer industry and how we can bridge the gap between conventional medicine and alternative therapies and try to mesh Bring them together. The two together. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when you say, and we've talked about this, you know, you mentioned it's not a, it's not an anti cancer industry doc. It's really about being able to take the best of both sides of the equation and bringing it together. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's it's a arrogant time and a to place. think that only you know, pharmaceutical companies have the answer and clearly they don't don't. because they have, they have the answer to make it a billion dollar industry and create lots of jobs and wonderful people who do wonderful work toward maintaining life while they're sick, but it would be really great to cure it. So it's the same thing I'd say about HIV and AIDS all the time. You know, they both have turned into multi-billion dollar Industries, yeah, and we do touch on Dr. Sabi in mm-hmm. the doc, and I know that he, yeah, cured both yeah. things, so yeah. HIV so and cancer. Yeah, there's a huge audience out there for the documentary. So, yeah, everyone, thanks for thanks for uh, watching us on Instagram. It's hard to like, <laughs> it's, it's so hard weird. to like do an interview and read the Instagram. So do, I don't want people to think we're ignoring your no, your no, comments. No. So um, I'm I trying just, to peek. Yeah, I should just look straight ahead. So <laughs> Melanie and I have been working together probably well ten years. Yep. Because um, with Jennifer Bassey, the My wonderful mama. Emmy-winning actress, we actually met ten years ago this month. Oh, Jennifer well, happy and I anniversary! Did. Yeah. Oh no, Jennifer and you. Well, but then, <laughs> well, I was going to say I'm segueing to the fact that you came in the picture shortly after because yeah. um, you your movie Timeless yeah. that you produced and starred in. Jennifer was cast to play your mother, and I'm yeah. I was I'm Jennifer's manager, Melanie's manager. Yeah. So that wasn't long after she got here. So that was like, what year did you guys start on? That was 2010, 10, 2011, yeah. so it's maybe. So right around yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and Timeless was an amazing movie yeah. based on the tra- sad death of your mom from brain can- cancer. It was yeah. a tribute to her. Yeah. And um, Jennifer was outstanding. Yeah, I feel like my mom brought her into my life as mm-hmm. well as you. Yeah, um, and Jennifer did an incredible job portraying her. And it for all the actors watching, if there are any, first of all, my condolences to you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good therapist, Xanax, any of that stuff? Uh, Melanie can talk about the audition process because, like, you talk about when Jennifer came in, you felt a connection. So it. This is an example where like 20 actresses could come in Mm -hmm. and nail the shit out of an audition. They were all brilliant, but there's something that happens with that one person that you connect with. Yeah, she she had a motherly quality about her and she... Like she pulled me into the scene. It's already a difficult scene for me right. to do because it's emotional and it's about my Based mom dying. True story. Yeah. But she pulled me in and then, you know, at the end of her audition drops a big <laughs> hot moment that left us all like, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah. Yeah. As Jennifer <laughs> and I was like, Bassey she's amazing. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Only Jennifer Bassey. So, yeah. yeah. And that began like a 10 year. Love fest and yeah, family. She's my TV mama. Like, she's like, and you're like my TV brother. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> but I believe too. Uh, you know, people come in your life. I mean, I have. I'm blessed because I have all. I have these clients I work with as a manager that they they're they're like family. Yeah, we spend you, Christmases together. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not just a business relationship. You know, I always say okay. agents come and go, managers can last forever. It's true. And as an actor myself, like I've been with my I've been with my agent 27 years. Wow. She's she's passed on, but I'm with Aww. her her daughter. Yeah. You know? So Aww. um in this town that's kind of rare. It's incredible. To find loyalty. Yeah. Um but anyway, so yeah, so you have all this stuff happening. Tell us what's coming, like, what's happening next. Coming up. Uh, so uh, next week, I will wrap the film You'll I'm doing. Finished. 
And I've got some meetings in regards to the doc series, um, one of which is Eric Swalwell, right. who was the presidential candidate. Candidate, Yeah, he, he had to pull out. But um, we're discussing how we can make some changes in the legislation around the cancer industry. Good. So I'm super pumped Starting about that. Starting in California? I mean, actually in Washington. Starting in Washington, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited to go there and That's ruffle great. some feathers. I like him. I, I had great. always been watching him on CNN. You know, he's been a pundit throughout the, the whole last three years. Um, and that's where I started. Yeah. So it was good that he ran. Yeah, totally. He's him, got a huge career ahead of him. Out there. How did you guys connect? Um, I am a big supporter of um, Canna Kids, which is a company that is uh, helping children that with, with terminal illnesses and different diseases that um, cannabis can treat, manage, and even potentially cure. Wow. So she was holding a fundraiser for Eric, and I promised her I would go. I had no idea. I'm, you know I don't watch CNN. So. Right, right. So I met him there, and he was speaking about bringing about cures to the industry and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, how the mm. hell are you going to do that? You're a little with, skeptical. With the cancer it's politician act. and... Well, I mean, there is an actual law called the Cancer Act that states nobody can say they have cured Cure. or are curing cancer. Right. So what are we doing? What did, did you ask him that? Yeah. What did he say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we became good friends immediately. So now we're working on it together. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, and that's what it takes. It takes a politician. It takes someone that's there in Washington that's willing to beat the, the right doors down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look at look what Kim Kardashian has been able to do. It's Love incredible. her, hate her. Doesn't matter. Whatever. She's making a difference. She knew how to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, you know, she, she knew, knew what, to, nor what doors to knock on. She knew, <laughs> literally. <laughs> she knew how to use. Well, the best thing that happened with that whole thing with Kim Kardashian is I didn't know in California you didn't have to have a law degree to be an attorney. I didn't know that. Well, you, I mean, you have to clerk and you have to put time in, but yeah, you can instead of going to school, right. You can work in, in a firm. Mm -hmm. It's a minimum of two days a week for four years, and you can write your bar. Well, to me, that's like the perfect way to do it because it's like you're on the job training. Yeah, it's like interning while you for college kids who have to intern and go to school. I know. This is, but did you There's know only that? Three I didn't even I, know it. I did actually. I think Port is or did. Oregon one of them. I don't remember the other two, but there's only three in total oh, wow. of the fifty states. So that was huge. I know we should Good probably do that, Jasper. I like. <laughs> and we let don't me need add to hire another, any lawyers. Let me add another <laughs> job title. We'll negotiate our own. I have contracts. to create another name, another <laughs> alias. <laughs> I have several. Um, That's so funny. Wow, wow. But on the acting front, you've been very busy auditioning, and yeah, it's yes. been great. And you also did the the Snapchat uh, series, series yeah, solve, solve. Yep. which has actually really taken off. That series I has. Know, it's I got really well. offered to do it, and I couldn't do it. But Aww. it was a really good part, and it's I wanted fun. to do it. Yeah, I got to play a, a murderer following. in one, and like torture some guy. Yeah. Like, those are far and few between for me. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but, the director is amazing on it. Yeah. It's, and they have a big following on yep. Snapchat. Let's see. Is anyone at, is anyone commenting? Do we have any questions? I'm um, just waving. Do you guys Hi, have guys. any questions for <laughs> Melanie, our special guest today, or for me? Um, Feel free to type in. Yeah, type in. And remember, all of the uh, this show is going to probably air live in two weeks. Cool. On BS Podcast Network, but then it'll be on archived on iHeartRadio and iTunes nice. and. I think we're on 39 platforms now. Holy this is my shit. eighth year wow. of some sort of show. This is my uh, second, third incarnation of a, wow. of a podcast. Yeah, Good for you. I remember when you were up on, up on Sunset. Yeah, well, That's we initially we started time. at um, Bronson Studios with Global Voice Broadcast, and then it moved to uh, Universal Broadcast. And now I just do it. I, I own the show myself, and... It's weird because we are really big in France. Oh, well, bonjour. bonjour. Comment ça va? Yeah. <laughs> and we're big bien, on toi. French people on their old laptops dial-ups. <laughs> so apparently in the nursing homes in France, we're really oh, big. Oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> they, they can literally break down your uh, followers as to what are they using, PCs, wow. Macs. What areas of the world? But for some reason, and yours are in long-term care facilities in France. <laughs> 
Yeah, I took French in ah, high school. Zut. Yeah, you're French Canadian, right? Oui. Oui, yeah. sort of Montreal. Yeah. Um, you have a Canadian a- um, agent as well. I do, and I want to give a shout out to my agent here and in Canada, Carrie. You rock, sister. Carrie Park. She's amazing. Park, Park Artist. Artist Group. Yeah. She's amazing. She's been so good. Like, I was on set, and I'm shooting two auditions on set because I couldn't make it. And then yesterday doing self-tapes. I mean, it's... Self-tapes are the the godsend of the world. I love it. Honestly, since I bought this... Again, I'm going to plug my iPhone 10. The camera is so <laughs> amazing. on these. from them I'm or not something? I'm getting a fucking dime. <laughs> These phones are so amazing, the camera. Yeah, Both it is. photo and... Uh, I need an upgrade, Jasper. I can tell there's a big difference in the self-tapes. But yeah. anyway, I'm so like, technically challenged. This Same. is exciting that we're, we're on here today hey, do, doing this. <laughs> um, no, but there was a period when so much production was happening in Canada. Yep. Oh, and I should say Marla Mann. I love you. I've known you since I was like 14 years old. In, Can- in Toronto. Yeah, she's uh, Marla Mann Agency. So congratulations, beautiful. I'm super excited to be back with you. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, there's still there are productions in in Canada. Oh my God, so many! It's getting busier again. Mm-hmm. Yep. But really, Atlanta right now is the mecca yeah. place because of the tax breaks. I know. I was so excited when I got that audition for Tyler Perry. Yeah, I oh, love that. We love so Tyler. Good. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got four. Tyler has four new series wow. coming up Jesus. for BET now. His deals at CBS, Viacom, and BET. Wow. But um, he's killing it. He's killing it. Yes. And this is so what how many years now? What is your how many years have you been in you were a child actress in, in Canada? Canada. Yeah. So you've been in LA 11 11 years. 12. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it it's almost fast, 12. Right? Jesus, I know. I know. Thirty seven for all I'm 32 worth, honey. for me. <laughs> well, you look amazing even in this damn lighting. <laughs> No, the time goes by fast, but as I say to people, especially in this industry, you just have to hang you have to stay in the game. Yep. And you know, persevere, keep at it. And if it's your dream, don't give up. Don't give up. And if it's not your dream, don't think of it as giving up, but go go on to a better quality of life. Yeah. In other words, if it's not a dream, if it's, it's just something you mm-hmm. wanted to try, there's nothing wrong with saying, "Okay, it's not really my passion." Yeah. But what happens, you know, what I what I get really sad for is I see a lot of people, even that I started out with, um, who, and by the way, making it and mm-hmm. what is success, that's mm-hmm. all totally individual. But I have, I have people that wake up suddenly and, you know, they've, they're 50 years old here yeah. in LA and they, they just sort of didn't get a relationship and they didn't have kids and they didn't right. buy a house or whatever it is. And, and <laughs> is that where I'm at? No, it? not you at all. <laughs> you're working. You're, you're, but there are people uh-huh. who, it, I'm just trying to, I just want to let people know you can have a, have a life and still be an actor and it doesn't have to, you don't have totally. to, you don't have to suffer and struggle. No, you don't have to I, struggle. And I think also, like, you get out of it what you put in. Right. You know, and you and I have both taken our own projects on and been creative and allowed that part of us to, to grow and be nourished. And that's really yeah. good, I feel like. When you have that confidence from doing it, then it parlays into other roles and other jobs. Well, I think the people. key, what you said, is you're not just an actress waiting for the phone to ring. You have to sort of... No, but even still, though, please call. I know. I mean, even though our passion <laughs> is the acting, but there's something you just... If you can do other stuff yeah. around the industry, um, it also makes you a better actor or actress. Once mm-hmm. you've been on the casting site, totally. on the other... Oh, my God. Oh, totally. If you've never... Oh, if it, all you actors out there, at least try to be a reader like yeah. for a casting director. Totally. Just to get in the other side and realize uh-huh. how non personal it is. And to see like how the mistakes that are. you made <laughs> that you used to do. Like right. when you walk in, you're like, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not off book please, yet. Dear or God, don't start just shut up. Just go in and do you whatever wherever you're at. Because and, it's and all let those little them things. Be the, let them control the conversation. Yeah. If they want to talk to you, they want to ask you questions, you yeah. stay in there forever. If yeah. you're done and no one's talking to you, please get the fuck out. Don't go to shake hands and everything. Because it's, it's our <laughs> natural nervous energy to yeah. want to fill the airtime and the space and yeah. whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Something's coming in. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, and, and again, now I... I hey, Ben. The, oh, hey, oh, what's Ben, the that's Ben Edwards. Hey, Is Ben. Is that the you? one... 
that just did Orange is the New Black. Oh, no, that's Adam Lindo. Okay, Adam, you bastard. You should be on my Instagram live right now. I know. He told me to say hi to you. He was messaging me on Instagram Oh, Adam earlier. Lindo, congrats. You he killed it. Carlos Litvak on the new final season of Orange it's is the so New good. Black. He is the greatest guy. He's our Newman Thomas client who lives in New York City. Um, the irony about Adam and I is we've now been working together almost a year. We've never met. <laughs> So there's, I think <laughs> there's something to be said about that, you're right? You're like an invisible boyfriend. You just imaginary. meet on the phone and yep. yeah. He and, loves you. He was well, he's so fantastic. happy. So shout out. Everyone check out. Uh, oh, my battery's dying. Check out the, la- it's, it just started, it just dropped, I guess. Yeah, no, Netflix I just saw Friday. it on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, he's he, playing a badass. He a killed mean, it. Oh, it's guy. angry. It's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, thanks. But Ben Edwards Hi, is, ben. is my client. Hey, Ben is in Phoenix. And Much he's love. Uh, he's going to be coming to LA to study with Margie Haber. Oh, I love! I did who, it. It's great. Yeah, we've uh, so many of us. Yeah, have great studied school. With Margie. He's doing her intensive. Mm. Mm, Oof. Right. <laughs> Enjoy. And, uh, <laughs> ben is a, a former uh, veteran. He's oh, wow. also a bodybuilder. Great guy. And uh, Ben's another one that's proving you don't have to be in LA to act. He's in Phoenix. Yeah. He's also a licensed therapist, by the way. And available taking clients. So I'll call you later. Yeah, Melanie is 310. No. <laughs> but three, um, two, three, he does all kidding. his self tapes from Phoenix. Yeah. And then he's actually driven in right. for a few like callbacks and stuff wow. like that. So Yeah, I was doing that from Canada, so it's definitely possible it's, from Phoenix. We don't have to be in LA anymore. Yeah. It's great. If commercials would start yes. self tapes. Although I have a client, he did um, the first panda express he did a commercial self-tape i was like oh my god Shit, if we could i would that, do it that would be amazing we're giving you shout outs ben you're welcome yeah ben. <laughs> and you're gonna come be on this show next time we can get you in la for a- yeah. enough time to to stay that would be great and on your way in if you're driving i'd like you to pick up some crystals for me in sedona crystal burgers no oh. crystals oh. Like, <laughs> jesus christ crystal burgers by the way are white castle White Castle they have in the Midwest. Oh, God. Crystal, which we used to call kangaroo meat, because it's these flat little square things. I don't think it's real meat. It's oh, probably Jesus. soybeans. But yeah. on a spiritual level, Melanie meant crystals. <laughs> My I'm mind not went to either. kangaroo <laughs> faux hamburger meat. So there you have it. Yeah, so just call me so you can bring me some crystals. Any particular ones? Oh, just big ones. Big? Yeah, I want a Melanie big collection. Melanie is the size person about size crystals. Queen. <laughs> She's a size queen uh, with crystals. Yeah. Because some things can be too big. Yeah, always. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In, yes. Even though you're Pilates and yoga. <laughs> gymnast. <laughs> and a gymnast. You don't want a crystal that's way too big because no. then you go, what are we going to do with that? Burp exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So... <laughs> Oh, How did okay. I know this was going to get dirty at some point? <laughs> this, so okay, so talk, you want to talk at all about your yeah. psychic oh. interview today? Well, yeah, we just were was talking. There anything, I know you talked about the cancer. We did. We covered the doc, but we also talked about kind of um, developing your own spiritual journey mm-hmm. and um, aligning yourself to, you know, accessing parts of you you hadn't used and didn't know you had so it's kind of awakening your dna Mm. and meditating and healing and yeah smoking a lot of pot dude i was so stoned (laughs) doesn't that help i am a firm believer in cannabis Cannabis. i don't drink no well anymore oh not really i never was a big drinker but it's just so not for me yeah um but cannabis for fun and relaxation like yeah, it. and you know, it's legal in California. and Well, I think 18 states now. I was Is listening, it? coming in on, wow. on uh, a radio show. Nice. Yeah. and it's. I think it's great. I think it, you know, opens your mind to shift perspectives mm-hmm. on certain, certain things and see things from a different way. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely Fantastic. helped me. Yeah. yeah. I'm all for, I, I particularly myself don't do it. Yeah. It's just. I have no judgment but you can just about take it, but, CBD. but I've done, yeah, I've tried the CBD yep. for my back and my neck and all that. And it's um, great anti-tumor. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm all about it. Anxiety. All of it. All of it. I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong, bad at all. Yeah. So, uh, have a great shoot, Ben. Ben is off to set. 
Let me know Stop how it goes. Stop bragging. Take lots of pictures. <laughs> yeah, he's in the middle of shooting a new film. I love it. Yeah. He does a lot of action stuff. Also. I love like how your whole management crew is like a sick Motley crew, <laughs> twisted we family. We are like a very... <laughs> We are a Misfits. nice little diverse group. Yeah. And now I have them all over the country. He's in Phoenix. Yep. I've got six clients in New York. I think four in Atlanta, uh, like 11 or 12 here. Wow. I think we have 25. And now we have the, the PR. Newman Thomas PR division. Yeah. Shout out to J.R. Rosenberg if, you're, hey, JR. if you tune in. I, I didn't and know. hey, Big Texas Butters and Louis, or oh. Louis, sorry. <laughs> Louis, oh, Louis de, de, de Stuff Stefano. I don't de have my glass. I don't have glasses on. It's all so right. I'll I, read it for you. You can read it. Your eyes are still good. <laughs> yes. I'm in denial. I need glasses. In fact, if you watch some, if you read some of my posts on Facebook, I constantly go back and correct them, especially in the mornings because I try to post and I don't have glasses on. That's it's like, cute. What the hell is wrong with this? <laughs> okay, shout out to to uh, whatever that says. Jacoba, ooh, Lord. Dialect. Well, we love you. Hope all is well with the both of you. We, Louis or Louis, we love you. Yeah, thanks for tuning. We're great. In. We're just here <laughs> it's shooting the shit about Hollywood Pretty and the entertainment business and uh, Canada and all that good stuff. Right? And s- rumors and, and rumors. dirty secrets yes. and pillow fights. So now. <laughs> <laughs> We, we haven't started talking housewives. No, you know, Daniel. We, who, oh my God, I didn't. I didn't say he's in the cast. Daniel. Daniel's in he's the cast a, of your amazing. movie. Amazing. The one you just look, are working look, on. Look. Yeah, he's so good. He's on, he's on the film that I'm shooting, oh. and he was on my Instagram live earlier, bragging about how good I was in, oh, in the film. So I want to return the favor. He kills it oh, on great. this movie. Yeah, he's what super kind of funny. character does he play? Oh. <laughs> Neurotic. Neurotic. Um, confused. <laughs> oh. I don't know. He, he's he's is definitely it? got some emotional issues okay. and that are supposed to be present in right. this film, and we're working through them. No, I meant the character, not the act. Yes, just the character. <laughs> but I love him. We oh, I've nice totally to meet bonded you. on set. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Great. Well, we can't we can't say the name of the film or whatever, but once it's out, you'll come back. Yeah, maybe keep maybe on you my guys Instagram. come on together and promote. I, it's actually tagged on my Instagram. Oh, the we, name? I'm just not supposed to do press about oh, it. Oh, okay. So, so just it's go right to my there. Instagram. It's, you're on her Instagram now. Yeah, so official Melanie Martin. And you'll see post. what movie we're talking about. Yeah. And shout out to the director. Evo and my friend David Lipper, who plays the lead. Right. Thing. And now my brain's working. Yeah. Um, yeah, David kills it. He plays um, he plays two characters in this film. So it's it's very clever. And it, I mean, his talent just is, it's a great showcase of his talent. So, yeah. What's this here? Oh. Right? Short film. I can't even see what this says. Limley no ho this week till the first. Just Someone has it. Who is that? My film called is that- Fly Right. All right, congratulations. Is we that love Lu- that. Oh, right, there we go. Somebody, I'm just promoting somebody else's movie here. It's Lewis. And it's playing at the L- Lem- Lemele the NoHo, Lemley, 7 NoHo 7 until August First 1st. So August. go see it. Support your local talent. Yeah. Get out of your fucking house. And actually, Limley, that's a great <laughs> theater. Get out of your fucking house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Occasionally go to the theater, which yeah. I don't do, and I should. I know. But, oh, right? Guilty. We I know. just love Netflix and we do. all the other platforms. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, we won Best Family. Oh, they won Best Family Film at the Olympus Film Festival. Hey, oh, that's well, awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, <laughs> that's fantastic. When is that one? Dritty? Dritty? What's so, up? So you're quite popular on Instagram. Not Everyone really. Knows. No, you have a lot of followers. No, but this is only my second live ever. No, but but in terms of your actual page, oh, you have a lot really. of followers, and you you know how to keep that going, and and you it's post a lot. Because there are a lot of people asking all the time, how does someone? Get more followers. I engage with everybody. Right. So if people write a comment, I'll take the time to say, oh my God, that was so kind. Thank you so much. Or if somebody writes an insult. Which you can't. Then. You get, right? I still take the time. Right. To write a witty comeback. Right. (laughs) But it's always with love. Yeah. Right. 
But do you find that you get more follow? Because there's a theory that sometimes people want videos. They mm-hmm. want photos. Yeah, do they want a fun. lot of body photos? Do they like, you know what I mean? There's a whole theory about Yeah, I, I think definitely my like sexy you, posts do people very want well. sexy stuff. <laughs> right, guys? Girls, yeah. everybody? They're looking for a little TNA. Right. Mm-hmm. And so that's what helps get followers. I feel like 80% of my followers are male. Right. And, right. you know, the 20 to 40 kind of category. So, yeah, the bikini shots do very well. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you, and do you, do you do a lot of uh, video, live chat? You were saying, I don't this know. Is this is only is, my second live, I mean, but literally I do, do stories. stories. That's yeah, what, see, so I don't even know. So they, they've done studies and they categorize um, that there's two different kinds of people, people who watch stories and people who look at the posts. Oh. So you've got to monetize and maximize both Both. of them and so you can post a story and then later post it on your page so that you're hitting those two different audiences because otherwise when there are people that that what do i even know like i've like barely any followers compared to some of the people i work with um people yeah you're compared to megan fox a lot someone's saying that here you you definitely i'll take it fox she's hot yeah she working anymore? I haven't seen her. Isn't she like married with? She's married 10 to Brian Austin Green, right? Yeah, I think she just kind of settled down. Yeah, good I don't for know. her. I mean, she, if I, I was have kids, if and... I was in love, I would do the same shit. Oh uh, yeah, you know, yeah. if I was happy well, with where my career was. He's back doing the nine zero two one zero reboot, playing themselves. But I've oh, always nice. yeah, because I have people ask me both as an actor and as a, more as a manager, and I, mm. I'm not big i don't have a big social media following and i don't know but that. you should you're like hollywood's bad guy well, like thank you're you, famous I, you've done so many movies films series everything well, thank you but th- but but you should is, put your clips on your instagram i know see i need to know all this stuff okay so you need to take the little segments from each big thing that you've done and put, it on instagram. And put a little 10 second video okay I do my auditions. I'll post people them on like my. People like that, right? I post them on my story. This and is people on laugh story at me. on your story, but then yeah. you can also auditions. Then post I don't it. post. Yeah, but, but then I'll put can... them in the story, and then I can use work in the post. But then you're telling people it's good to also take your story and post it after, if you yeah. want. On yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you haven't worked, use your auditions. Post those. That's a great idea. Fuck it. So see, you're everyone tuning in. You're you're getting a hey, social media tutorial today. <laughs> Because there's, I can't get any. There doesn't. It seems like this like magical mystery thing about how do you get followers. You see people. There's seminars and there's workshops and You've, people are charging thousands yeah. of dollars to teach people. I think also like Instagram went through a an arc mm-hmm. where everything became so perfect on Instagram and it's fucking exhausting so now people are engaging with the people that are real real like no makeup walking the dog like intimate moments that's real life right and i they think want that's the real, more not the creating that engagement fake yeah it makes kind of, people feel more comfortable right to see that, they feel more engaged yeah nobody's perfect it's all bullshit right you know yeah i look like i'm homeless in the morning well, and like I've I'm done some stories with that. In I it. only play homeless people. So for <laughs> He's me, like Hollywood's famous homeless the best guy. Thing about playing <laughs> my characters, when people see you in real life, they're always like, oh, wow, wow, you look good. You look so much better. <laughs> well, I, that's like the bar is like that high, but whatever. Um, yes. And but, collab with friends, somebody saying oh, it's so true. So the fact that we're doing an Instagram and live together, you're being exposed to my database of friends and fans and, and vice versa. Right. So then you, when you post, you tag, you, you do this anyways, yeah. but you tag your friends and then they repost and share each other. And that way you, you, build you, your you reach out to more people. Yeah. Cause the hardest Thanks, thing is Lewis. getting people to follow. Like, you follow people, but you need them to follow you back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you, are you primary, primarily Instagram? Yeah. You're not a Twitter. I'm not a Twitter. Twitter. A You're tweeter. not a Twitter person. Tweeter, tweeter, You're not a tweeter. So, no, I've never been good at Twitter. Yeah, so Instagram is my My Instagram goes to my Twitter and my Facebook. Okay. But I don't really go on. See, that's really like me. My it doesn't Facebook really work. It goes to Twitter. Yep. And Instagram goes to Facebook, correct, or yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I understand what you're saying. There, yeah. it seems to be like two either or. They're like big, but I, I yeah. feel like industry wise, more people are using Instagram now. I do too. I 
I think politically, like though, for political stuff, it's, it's Twitter. It's Twitter. Yeah. yeah. But Twitter, I can't. And Facebook is when you're angry and you need to vent. Facebook is for <laughs> old people like me who want to share pictures with their Who's family. sending? You always send me these messages in Facebook. I can't even figure out how to get in and get them. <laughs> I know. Just because I find some interesting article, I assume that everybody I know wants to read it or needs to read it. I usually do when I can get in and figure it out. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, it's become so... It's uh, Well, when I work now, you probably see this too, maybe working on the film. Everybody, the moment they say cut, people are like, you know, posting and photoing and they're posting. and So it's we do miss the engagement a little bit in person on set sometimes. Yeah, um, because everybody's it's on their to- phone. So the other day on Friday, I was on set, and the cast will agree with me. We arrived, you know, seven a.m. Right, and there was no phone service, oh, no like Wi-Fi, no nothing. Oh my god! Like they had a dial-up service that one person had to use for the dropping of you know footage and stuff like that. So we had no phones. People panicked. for the whole day. Could people talk to each other? Yeah, we just f- filmed a lot of things and then posted it later. Oh <laughs> but you but do, it was crazy. It's like when power it was back, goes out. Back in the day, you realize, like, yeah, yeah, you, we are so. Thanks used for the to love, it. guys. Yeah, <laughs> thanks everybody for tuning in. Yes, we're here. Hey. In, unless, in case you're first j- tuning in, we're here with the wonderful Melanie Martin, and uh, this is Jasper Cole and Hollywood's one on one with Jasper Cole. And Melanie's here. She's shooting a movie. She has a cancer documentary. She has a reality show that she's in production on right now. She's single. I think you're single. <laughs> Ready to we mingle. Talk about that? I'm dating. Oh, you're I'm dating. Taking applications. Yeah, but not. You're not taken. No. Yeah. No. So that's a whole other story. Dating today. You know, well, I've been married. I've been 22 years. I so saw. Congratulations. I don't know what, what the fuck I would do, but, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm in a positive place and I'm, I'm happy. And I, th- I think that that creates mm-hmm. your reality as well. So I'm having a great time dating. Good. It took me a long time to be in this space. Right. Um, you know, when Greg passed and a couple of other losses that I've had, I, I feel like I was really closed off and I wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. So I took a huge hiatus. Right. Which and is what now I'm making up for lost time. Kinda, oh, hello, <laughs> hello, mama is Call back. me. Call. <laughs> So what do you, they call it? Slide into the DMs. Yeah, slide me a DM, honey. Do you check? Oh, that's a good question. Do you check your DMs? Because I know some people who don't. I, d- I don't check all of them because kind of get a they, scary. they get a little a lot weird. Of dick pics. I I don't even click on the picture because it's it's covered oh. and you have to click on it to open it. So you know I'm we're busy and I don't have time to like read everything, but I'll, I'll skim it in case I've missed something that, you know, somebody so, said they'd send me a DM. I'm going to just check and see if their name is in there. What is this thing with the people obsessed with dick pics? I, I'm in a whole other world. I mean, like who, It's not for me. People do that. Yeah. That's just grotesque to me. Like, 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 why don't you swoon me and prove that you're even worthy to, and I don't mean that in a conceited way, but like, that you're worthy of my time, that you're going to make my life better by being in it. Right. With your love, your affection, whatever. I don't need to pick of one of your well, yeah. it's pieces it's in sort your of body. Like, <laughs> I'm fascinated by Tinder as well, or a grinder, I don't whichever oh, one is. But you know, you're literally just swiping based on the photo. Looks. But yeah. then someone sent me the other day, well, Jasper, it's no different when you first see somebody, if you see someone in a bar, mm-hmm. you're basically swiping left or right in your mind in that moment, right? Ooh, so that's interesting. You know it's what I mean? In true. the old days, we were swiping without, we were without just swiping in our swiping. brain. Like, you were I'm saving your thumb muscles. I'm not interested. <laughs> So, I feel like <laughs> is the, there's a physical attraction. Yeah, that needs to be there. So that's yeah. first, but I'm an in person person. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not even so much a phone talk, no, or text. Not, not you know, either. I'm an in person person. So the sooner I can get to that point where I can be in their presence and feel their energy, right? That to Makes me is my my deciding factor. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So throw your good energy this way. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Someone, some. Have goodbye. a great day. Nice Have to see you, Louis. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, um, give us your opinion if you're watching. What is your take on dating apps in today's world? I guess if you're not on them, you're probably in the minority. Or the, you're in a loving relationship, you lucky fucker. Although apparently there are people <laughs> that are in relationships. Oh, yeah. There's that, that Ashley app. Madison thingy. That's uh, an actual app for oh, married Oh, yeah. People. That's where you find married people, right? Yeah. But I mean, that's. Is that actually single people that end up with married people are married and married, or I guess it doesn't matter? I think it's a whole smorgasbord. Oh, my God. I don't even know. <laughs> I would be... God. It's, it's devastating. I have talked to my single friends, and it's kind of weird. Yeah. And it's I'd... also weird for people who suddenly have to go back into the dating world, like in their... 50s but I'm, I'm not mad at that i think it's a great experience and you can learn about yourself and look yeah mama got married at you know 70 something yeah 70, I, <laughs> I think she was about 70 yeah but, but i mean she found a true love at that age and that's so beautiful but it also allows you when you're dating different people to observe things about yourself right because really they mirror parts of ourselves so mm -hmm. it's always fascinating to yes. uh to have a look at that if you're willing to. Well, and love has no <gasps> Well, let's give limit. let's give a shout out to Dr. Rosenberg, oh. famous plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Hello. He's here. Hi. Hi. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining tuning us. in. <laughs> yes. It's always good to have if a plastic need, surgeon in the room. I've, especially as a friend. As a friend. <laughs> um, a if you need lawyer, Botox or anything, and a hit him up. Surgeon. Rosenberg Plastics. There we have it. <laughs> yeah. And Free shout whole, outs. God, there's so much now happening in, in the world of cosmetic mm -hmm. surgery. Not just surgery, but cosmetic treatments. Treatments. And yeah. what, men and women. High fun in the sun. Yep. Yes. No, um, totally. Would you do anything? Well, here's the thing. I, I, but I'm sort of a vain person. However, my career now is based so much on being this gritty, real. Right. I don't want to like. Change. Bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think I'm just going to age and let... And just be healthy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm big on fitness, obviously. I'm wellness, A casting yep. director told me recently, this is the tr honest to God truth. They said, Jasper, you have the body of Baywatch in the face of Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, first of all, Baywatch was... 20 years ago, so oh if you could God. come up with a, a recent reference. That would be great. But Deadwood, they did resurrect. <laughs> so, in other I words, cover up. You have to. I have to cover up if I'm playing a creepy person. <laughs> yeah, because you're too healthy looking. <laughs> but anyway, the point is to be He's healthy. jacked. Like, show them your muscles, oh, Jasper. Oh, no, I'm too... I, I don't do want to do that. I'll do, do it. What? Look at his fucking arms. There we are. He's jacked. It's Shredded. Good. It's good lighting. No, honestly, it's... um. It's just trying to eat healthy, you know? Just you do. Healthy. I know you do. Yeah. You're yeah. very good at I think diet is 80%, 90%, per, 85% they, they say of... They say it is. Because I didn't always do that. And Hi I guys. would work out like... You know, I would work out like crazy, but the diet wasn't great. Right. And I didn't see the results. But right. then everybody's got to find what works for them. Yep. Everybody's different. Yeah. I agree. I'm all about whatever makes you feel good. So if that requires a little, you know, boop, 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 boop. injection or whatever Filler, to maintain, laser. I love it. I just only wish that people knew how beautiful they are without anything. anything. And I'm a firm believer that a lot of that could be healed from inside and and self worth things and stuff like that, and then just maintaining, maintaining. it or you know accenting it, but not drastically yeah. changing it. Because yeah. some that's, people go I, that's down my the, thought process. But. And, and then the doctor Rosenberg knows this too. Some people can get down the rabbit hole like yeah. once things start. But and it's hard in this society we live in. Like everything's perfect. Like we were talking about, you know, these butts are like <sighs> shelves off your ass. Like it's. It's or off your back. And, and Sorry, men, it's it's, it's fact, crazy. Men are under the same pressure Preach. now as well. You know, <laughs> yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, like they're getting implants and tightening, I and I don't and you know, know, it used to just I feel be bad for Hollywood, people. but it's not. No, it's, it's all not over because the, Hollywood's setting the trend for the rest of the country. And because of social media now, too, mm -hmm. everybody is 
it's it's big wherever they are. Yeah. The pressure, the peer pressure. But to listen, look great. like you know, I've had my breasts done, whatever, and they're great. They're great. <laughs> I didn't go crazy. No, um, at all. But like, I I just don't want to take away from people that do feel that they need something, and that was a really mm-hmm. big insecurity for me. Now I was twenty one right. when I initially did it, and I hadn't fallen in love with myself. Right. But now I just think I'm fabulous. <laughs> you probably you probably would do it. You would have done it probably, right? You don't have any oh, regrets? No, God, no. Yeah. I'm just saying like I hadn't learned to love myself right. at that point. Now I do. I'm so grateful for these breasts that right. have had no issues, no problems. Right. Thank God. Right. Um, but I just wish there was a maybe a healthier balance between mm-hmm. the two of self love first, right, and then you know well, addressing whatever. This needs is to why be I love like I'm friends with this Chrissy Metz, this great actress from This Is Us, the rather oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know large actress. She's amazing. She's amazing, and she's she's an example of she's helping people realize you just be big is beautiful and and, you know chrissy's actually healthy yeah you know you can be bigger and be healthy absolutely i mean we don't know how people are made there are a lot of really thin people that are unhealthy that have horrible cholesterol and heart and well most fitness models and and people that compete i mean the strain and pressure they put their body on they're uh, it's, it's I mean, not, it's yeah. it's not normal, and this, right. the you can't judge a book by its gets cover, the pressure, even and, though we all do. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, listen, the, the hour is up. Oh wow, I can't believe it, everybody. Okay, well, thank my phone's you. gonna die, so this well, is great. It was perfect timing. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't your vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> That's always charged. <laughs> That's always charged. Do they have electrical still? Can you plug those? I in? don't know. Just don't Jasper. drop it in the bathtub. <laughs> but see, on the you see what you learn here. It's a little bit about wisdom, spirituality, vibrators, injections. And dick pics. And crystal size. Anyone, <laughs> everyone, everybody, Thanks, come guys. and next time join in. We're gonna, I think I'm going to start doing the show Facebook Live. Thanks to oh, you. Oh, no, we, sh- we totally should. This like, should people, be it. Melanie's people want to be involved. Back. Yeah, Melanie's going to come back. Yeah. And we're going to keep And I just want to say thank you to Jasper. There are very few people oh, in my cry. career that have gone above and beyond to make sure that this, you know, insecure little actress knows that you have my back. Wow. And this guy set me up with a photographer for new headshots because I was desperate for them and then paid for them without my knowledge. Well, no, there is nobody I've met in this industry that does something like that. And I just want to say thank you. That meant so much to me. Not the money, oh, but welcome. the fact well, that you did it. I, I feel if I'm going to ask an actor to get new headshots... The least I can do is pay for it. Well, don't sign up for that for everyone. (laughs) But he's a great guy. Follow the show. One on one with Jasper Cole. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming, guys. Check us out on iTunes and iHeart. Just go to jaspercole.com. You'll find everything. Follow Melanie on Twitter. uh, Melanie Martin. Everything's Melanie Martin. Just Google her and you'll see it. Love you so much. Thank you. you Thanks, guys. Love you too, guys. Bye bye. Thanks for checking out One on One with Jasper Cole. Check out past episodes and get the latest as they're released subscribe today on itunes stitcher and youtube